to the Jacob Edwards Library. Um, it's our great pleasure this evening to welcome Paula Bradley and Mary Lou Ferrante here to Southbridge. Uh, this is their first time playing here together and um, they will uh, introduce themselves as the concert goes on. Um, this program is made possible by funding from the Southbridge Cultural Council via the Mass Cultural Council. And for that we are always very grateful. Um, we are also uh, delighted that this program can be recorded for Southbridge Cable TV and also on YouTube so that it will have a wider audience uh, because I know that these two ladies will um, certainly be of interest to a lot of people hearing them play and I also spy a piece of wood on the floor which ah. I know what that might mean later on so you have to wait and watch yes, the whole you have show to, to wait. find That's out right. what it means. That's right. <laughs> Welcome ladies. Well, um, Mary Lou and I are going to give you some examples, some very notable examples of women in traditional music. Both Mary Lou and I play traditional music, both old time and blues. And it was um, the stuff that we draw upon was mostly recorded in the late 1920s and the 1930s which was kind of a golden age of recorded music. It's when 78 RPMs um, were in their heyday. And um, there was massive record di distribution. I mean, everybody, all classes of people had access to records. And so we, um, we focused on a few of our favorites, favorite female performers from that era um, to talk about and to give some examples of their music. So we're going to start with um, the Carter family, who um, the two women, they were cousins. Um, Maybelle Carter was the lead guitar player, and Sarah Carter was her cousin. And um, they often paired with Sarah's husband, AP. But the early recordings, come on in. Hi. The early recordings were Sarah and Mabel. And so we thought we'd start off with one everybody knows, because maybe you'll feel like singing along. Yes, please sing along. On a beautiful day like today. All right, shall we? Yeah. Thank you. 
feels good to start off with the Carter family and that one. So, um, oops, let me get a chance. Hit me an A chord, make sure I'm in the right place. Unlike the last time I played this. <laughs> about Maybell and Sarah Carter and it's it's good to start with them because really they recorded over 300 songs so their contribution to American traditional music is immense um, and there's a very good book actually written by an author from Connecticut um, called Will You Miss Me When I'm Gone that I'm, that I'm sure you can get through your library <laughs> um, which t tells the story of the Carter family um, and it's really interesting. I, I don't want to spoil anything, but it, I, re I highly recommend it. It's a true story, and it's very compelling. And both Sarah and Mabel were very interesting women. Uh, Sarah rode a motorcycle. Um, she uh, had an affair, left her husband, broke up the Carter family, um, did all kinds of things, you know, all kinds of things that people do in life. But it's very interesting, sort of through this lens of the 1930s, you know, um, and what they had to go through to record. Um, of course, having children um, that they had to look after. They had to drive in, you know, there weren't highways, so they were driving on like rutted roads, three and four hundred miles to get recorded. So. Interesting. So they had over recorded over 300 songs. We only have time for probably a hundred tonight. <laughs> and uh, so this, for our second number, <laughs> we're gonna do uh, another one from the Carter family. We like to joke that there probably isn't a human emotion that they didn't have a song that pertained to it. And. Um, Here's one of those songs, and it's got a great chorus also. And the other thing about the Carter family is their songs that they recorded came from a variety of places, from the church, so they recorded gospel music, um, from Tin Pan Alley. Some of them were popular songs that just got passed around, even in the mountains people had heard from someone, and it sounded like a folk song, but it was really something that was composed. And some of it was blues. Some of it they learned from African Americans. and. This song has shown up uh, in, in African American uh, books about African American songs. And the chorus is, if you don't want to get in trouble, I'm going to sing that three times, you better let that liar alone. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. Yeah. 
that liar coming to your house. If you don't want to get in trouble, if you don't want to get in trouble, if you don't want to get in trouble, better let that liar alone. We have one more Carter family we song. We do. Why don't you talk about that? Carter's Blues. And uh, you can tell this song must have came over from me, but it's like an old ballad. Right, another source for a lot of that music yeah. is uh, things that came over from Scott's Irish. I mean, it's, it's just a beautiful, it's not a blues at all. It's called Carter's Blues. <laughs>
Finally heard some real country music. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it is the real. It is real country. country. It yeah. is well. real country. Well, you know, uh, the Carter family started putting yodels in a lot of songs. Like I'm sure. I mean, I I haven't researched that particular song, but. I'm going to guess the yodel was added by the Carter family. I mean, it's sort of an old ballad. And they, they started doing that because they got a job on border radio down in Mexico. Uh, back before things were quite so regulated, there was a big, big radio station right over the border uh, from Texas in Mexico. And it you know, was like, I don't know what the watts were, but you could hear it like halfway across the country. And they hired the Carter family to be their resident band. So they, packed up the kids and everybody, they drove from Virginia to Texas, drove with kids, and um, and just sort of lived there. And so you can hear like the yodeling, that's that's the cowboy thing, right? Um, it's not where it started, but if you're living in Mexico right across the border from Texas, you're hearing a lot of yodeling. <laughs> so they started putting it in their songs, and you can sort of hear those influences, which I think is very interesting. But then I listen to a lot of Yes. <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna take our leave of the Carter family. We really aren't gonna do a hundred songs and um, talk about a couple women who uh, were notable for their banjo playing. One of them, uh, the first one that I'm gonna play a song by, is a woman by the name of Ola Bell Reed, and she was from North Carolina, but her husband. Um, you know, I needed to get a job and moved up to uh, Maryland where there was some industry some on the coast there. And um, she was a great songwriter and a great banjo player in, in the North Carolina tradition. And um, I was fortunate enough when I was about 12 to get to attend a concert that she did. And it was, uh, it was quite something. She was a very, a, a sort of a large woman, very imposing with a great voice. So we're going to not only um, play the banjo, but we're going to sing one of her songs. And it's a song called I've Endured. And um, it's, uh, it's quite, a lot of people have recorded this song. Many of her songs you have probably heard because they're very popular in bluegrass circles. And uh, we'll do this one. Yeah. yeah. Let me get these, these papers out of my way. The other thing I wanted to say is when you all leave, and I'll probably say this more than once. We made a list of the women whose music we're featuring today. So if you want to Google it, um, there's, gonna, there's a list. And also there's a questionnaire there from the Arts Council to help them as they start the funding cycle for next year. Um, what kinds of things you're interested in. So check those out. So here's a song from Ola Bell Reed called I've Endured. One, two, three.
It's almost like standard bluegrass tuning, G, except the fifth string's tuned up to A and I have the capo on the second fret, so it's really a, an A tuning. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, Mary Lou, why don't you talk about the next song? Well, this next song is called Camp Mining Blues, and it was written by a woman. Her name was Trixie Smith. Um, uh, she was a, a blues singer and songwriter, and she recorded this song. Peter. Um, and uh, but two wonderful women got a hold of this and added a yodel to it and made it really country fine this song. It's called Camp Money Blues and it's about a woman whose um, husband works in the mines and um, so Hazel Dickens and Alice Gerard recorded this song. Um, they were actually the first women to record a bluegrass album. So it's pretty. They put, they put bluegrass on the map for women. And, uh, and that was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. Yeah. Early 60s. Early yeah. 60s. Uh, Alice, uh, Hazel Dickens passed away in 2011, but Alice Gerard is still out there and tearing it up. <laughs> and she's amazing. Yeah. Is she, she, think, is she 80 now? She's, yeah, she's, she's, in she's, yeah, she's in her 80s now. And she's still touring, recording, mm -hmm. teaching at music camps, you know. Mm -hmm. She's an inspiration. She really is. Really. Yeah. And uh, just a side note, I'm from West Virginia. Hazel's from West Virginia. So yeah. It's a real treat to play this. I'm sorry. I, I knew I was going to hit you, so I was like, I'm trying to move my chair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Once I had a 
Daddy, and he worked down in a hole.
this fun song. It's called Frisco Town. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs>
must answer my questions nine. Sing 99 and 90, or you're not God's, you're one of mine. And who is the weaver's bonnie? What is wider than the mill? Sing 99 and 90, and what is softer than the silk? And who is the weaver's bonnie? Well, snow, it's wider than the mill. Sing 99 and 90, and down it's softer than the silk. And I am the weaver's bonnie. Well, what is higher than a tree? Sing 99 and 90, and what is deeper than the sea? And who is the weaver's bonnie? Well, heaven's higher than a tree. Sing 99 and 90. And hell, it's deeper than the sea. And who is the weaver's bonnie? Well, what's more innocent than a lamb? Sing 99 and 90. And what is meaner than a man? And who is the weaver's bonnie? A babe's more innocent than a lamb. Sing 99 and 90, and woman's meaner than a man. And I am the weaver's bonnie. Well, you have answered my questions nine. Sing 99 and 90, and you're not God, you're none of mine. And you are the weaver's bonnie. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is called the Poor Girl Story, so kind of gets back to Moonshine Kate sing, uh, to, about Memphis Minnie singing Nothing in Ramble. Yes. This is a song about Ramble. <laughs>
Thank you all. Thank you so much, Council, for thank you. Thank you. My mama told me, Papa told me too. You're a mighty sweet baby, no matter what you do. And the boys all told me. Oh, 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 oh,
the blues ain't nothing but something you can't explain. But when you miss your daddy, why it really is a pain. You don't like my peaches, cause when my peaches be.
um, Southbridge Cultural Council.